And I just done that in my hotel room. Uh, I think it's Thursday morning at just about two o'clock in the morning. And uh, different from all the other videos I've shot from this hotel room, I'm not standing in the window, which is over there with the fabulous view, because I've turned up lame this morning. I uh, had my car stolen about 11 days ago and had only the clothes, I have had still pretty much only the clothes on my back and the shoes I was wearing that day, were, which were a pair of shoes that I had given up on months before because they hurt my feet and they're the only shoes I've had to wear for 11 days. And last night I uh, got lost in Veracruz, did a very long walk and this morning I, my left foot hurts like crazy and I can't stand on it. So they shoot horses, don't they? Isn't there a movie named that? And I guess all that is part of what's got me obsessed with Christy Noem, the Montana governor, who Trump candidate for vice president. I hope that the story of her shooting a puppy and then a goat, but especially the puppy, helps her become the emblem of the Republican Party, that she would become the face of the Republican Party and it would be appropriate because they are evil people. If, if this doesn't expose, and she's pretty, she's a beautiful woman, and flashy, smart, got to be governor somehow. If people think about that story and think about the way Republicans are driven by greed, cowardice, evil, it's an evil party. It's not just it's not just bad politics. Those are bad men mostly and then the women who are as worse 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 in their cruelty than the men. Yeah. Who don't care about people, care about power, don't care about the country. No, care about sound bites. I've killed a dog, and I'm proud of it. A little, little less than a year ago, it was a murderous dog, and it was him or me. He was attacking me, and he was attacking three street dogs that I loved dearly in this little 400-person Pueblo. And I used a little fish filleting knife and only succeeded at killing that dog because one of the brave dogs who was about to die and his jowls bit him on the butt and distracted him so I could drive the knife into his back. And it disturbed me because I love dogs. It's the kind of thing I can't picture I would ever do, but had to, to protect the innocent. I'm proud of that. I'm a good man. I routinely say that. I am a good man. I am a good man. I love people. Love the earth, love animals. Should be a defining moment in our politics that all the evangelicals that support a despicably evil ex-president because they like his politics. A dear, dear, dear friend of mine said to me, I'm Christian, I'm a devout Christian. I hate that man, but he's gonna get me my tax breaks, okay? Is that clear enough for you? I never did say to her, I love her, she was my old secretary and she's a dear, dear person. I don't know, that, I want to say to her, Sherry, look who you've become. Look who you've become. Wake up. All right, wake up, people. It's not business as usual. And Joe Biden is a good man. If you can confuse yourself to somehow not notice that that man is, I don't know how he managed to remain such a genuinely good man in the middle of all that political world. 
he should be not someone we mock because he's old. He should be a hero. Maybe, you know, along with Liz Cheney, Adam Kinzinger should be one of the heroes that goes down in our collective history if we wake up.